but we're coming. It's dark, it's night, and I'm trying to shoot the stars. It's not a perfect night for it, but let's see what we can get. So here we are, the camera's set up, we're pointing at the trig point, at the stars. We're sat on manual, at F8, ISO 800. Everything's lined up roughly how I want it, it's almost straight. It slipped off a little bit. So we're going to trip the shutter and leave it for about 60 seconds, thereabouts, and see what comes out. I'll turn off for a minute, because I don't want any light pollution. Apart from maybe a little bit at the end. So here we are. That's the image we got after 60 seconds. Briefly. Now, when you're doing night photography, don't forget your torch. So as you can see, we've got most of the stars and a bit of light pollution. There's a nice view, however, to my right. So I'm going to recompose and try something else. Hello, we've recomposed. We're now facing towards Morecambe and Lancaster. The trig point's still in view to the left hand side. And we've set it down to ISO 400, f2.8. I'm going to go for a 60 second exposure. There's going to be a bit of light pollution in this, but it looks quite interesting. There's a wee bit of mist just floating around over the estuary. So, on we go. So here we are, back with you again. That's the image we got last time. It was a bit of a longer exposure than I planned. So we're going to try another one, slightly shorter. Around the 42, 42. Now this one came out quite nicely. Let's just find those there. Oh, missed. The problem in the dark. You missed your buttons. There we go. That's not bad. I'm quite pleased with that. Can't see much, but we'll process it up when we get back and see what it looks like.